Hey YouTubers, appreciate you joining my video once again. My name's William with Take Two Fishing, and as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of junk in front of me, but this junk is going to turn into something glamorous, I can promise you that. Uh, but before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to Bait Plastics LLC. If you guys have not talked to Butch yet over at Bait Plastics, please be sure to do so and tell them William with Take Two Fishing said hello. They are a significant part of Take Two Fishing. Man, you know, you can get glitters, you can get highlighters, you can get bait scents, you can get worm oils, you can be, get bags, you can get highlighters, you can get pearl mixes, anything you can possibly think of to get you in the game of making great quality soft plastics. Give Butch a shout over there at Bait Plastics LLC and tell him William said hello. Uh, as I said, man, what I got in front of me is a mix of red and pumpkin. And when combined, this is called a pumpkin sapphire mix. And that's what I've named it. This is actually a 10 inch curl tail worm. And I had a customer send me an email said, Hey man, I love your red pumpkin sapphire mix that you've got. But uh, is there a way that you can actually take those two colors and blend them together? And I said, absolutely, there's a way to do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dual injector I'm going to use a mixing block and I'm going to shoot him some four inch predator baits, which he especially requested. And I'm looking forward to doing this video. Uh, so give me just a second. What we'll, do, what we'll do is we'll get these thrown in the microwave. We'll get them degassed and back on the bench and show you how this works. So we've got this one here out of the microwave. Got it mixed up just a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll throw it over in a degasser. And then once we've degassed it, we'll throw it back in the microwave. We'll get it a little bit more up to temp. A little noisy, but that's what we're gonna do with this one. And of course, I got my red over here. It's cooking up, coming down the home stretch. Looks like about 25 seconds left on it. So it's still got quite a bit of cooking to do. Anyway, get these cooked up and we'll get you back over on the table. All right, so now we've got our red portion of this mix just out of the degassing chamber. Needs a little bit more time back in the microwave to get it up to, give or take about 350 degrees. So get these both back in the microwave to kind of get them on the same temperature level. And we'll be right back. All right, so before I bring the plastics over here, I kind of want to show you guys what we'll actually be doing. So this is a 16 ounce dual injector. Uh, you got eight ounces on each side. And this is a camo block. And typically when you're injecting and you're pushing this handle down, you're dispersing equal amounts of hot plastic to get a laminate color. But in this case, what we're actually going to do is we're going to take out this crossbar here. We'll pull it off just like that. And then that way we can control or pulsate the injectors and feed the color that we want to feed into. So it will look similar to a up down kind of motion such as that. <clears throat> All right, and comes through the mixing block. And as I said, there is a uh, there's a metal plate that kind of controls 
the flow as well. But I have found with the way that I'm actually doing this, that by doing the pulsating, it actually works better. So there's one side of the block and here's the opposite side. So my plastic should be ready. And we'll set this up here. You'll have to bear with me because when you got your injector set up like this, it's, uh, it's definitely a little bit of work. <clears throat> All right, so because we're blending, we don't necessarily have to worry about the top or the bottom of the mold either. So what we'll do is we'll stick the injector in here and we'll suck up this one. Then we'll pull up this one, lean it back, and then we'll burp it here. I like it. And we'll take our injector, we'll set it right up here on the top. And we'll start, I think, with a little bit of green <clears throat> and then a red. And we'll just kind of pulsate them back and forth. And then we'll get to the end there. We'll just kind of hold it for a brief sec. Then we'll move over here to the next mold. And this one, we'll start with a little red first. We started with green last time. Up just a little bit. Now, we'll shoot the plastics back into the cups. It is definitely. A little more work. Um, I could just about use a step stool. I'll tell you that one. So we'll sit them back. We'll get this wiped off. And then we'll open this mixing block up here. Kind of give you an idea if I can keep from there we go kind of show you how these colors came in so you see in the pattern on the back side so this is what we're hoping for we're kind of hoping for this mix here So, some raw footage here. Let's open this first one up. There we go. Let's see what this first one looks like. Perfect. Man, this is exactly what I was looking for. So, I'm not just saying it because I'm on YouTube. I'm saying it specifically because this is exactly what I was looking for. Let's pluck one of these out. Look at the, the detail on that. Man, is that not just awesome? I mean, to me, that is perfect. So, real quick short demonstration let's pop the other one here open <clears throat> and remember we started with red first on this one and we started with the green i believe i could be backwards i started with the green on this one let's see if let's just see 
if we can really tell. I'd say we can't. <laughs> so I don't, I don't guess it really matters whether you start with the green and the red first. Just as long as you've got the pulsation of different colors going in at different times. But, man, just check that out. I mean, so you can do this with different colors. Uh, I have found that when I'm using this particular block and I'm using black, black is a very dominating color. So if you're going to try this, try to go with a uh, smoke black, uh, lighter color black, and uh, try, to, uh, try to go with less of the black. Because like I said, the black is a more dominating. If I was using black and red, the black would definitely... Uh, overtake the red on this thing but man just just to just to kind of show you one more time um, this really turned out great and I'm kind of curious this in here had a lot of red in it so let's see what the back looks like nice little line there I do I'm okay with that that looks good so there you go real quick video man that just really looks great Leave a comment in the comment section, if you would. I'd appreciate it if you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And like I said, man, without you guys, this channel would be a dud. So I'm going to assume it's that it's not a dud. <laughs> so leave me a comment in the comment section. Hit that like button. Turn on your notifications. Tell me for something particular you'd like to see. I'd love to do it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll catch you next time.